This is another sad story of an innocent giant sustaining a painful abscess on his leg. This wild elephant that is seen close to the village border for a few days, limping with difficulty. Some of the villagers found him collapsed in the forest close to the village and alerted the wildlife office in the area. Looks like he has been lying here without any food or water for days. The officers arrived and saw the elephant helplessly lying low, looking so frail. The veterinarians start inspecting the animal first by checking his jaw for any injuries caused by a jaw exploder. But there is no such issue to be found. The kind villagers worried about his condition and they've fed the elephant with easy digestive foods like pumpkins. The vets checked the elephant in the meantime and found an abscess on the upper part of his right leg with accumulated pus. He realized that abscess should be drained out quickly. It's sad that this beautiful creature is in a critical stage. The vets immediately start cleaning the wound thoroughly, using hydrogen peroxide, leaving some on the wound for a while. This will kill pathogens through oxidation bursts and local oxygen production. The dead cells in the wound would also be removed with this reaction. A cotton swab soaked in peroxide is used to wipe off the wound. Hydrogen peroxide is taken in a syringe and injected into the wound. This is done to kill the maggots and the infestation that is formed further inside the wound. The vets scrape off the infested part of the flesh and clean it thoroughly using more cotton. The wound has been thoroughly cleaned. They also remove the dead infected skin tissues in the wound as it is not possible for a wound to heal with necrotic tissues surrounding it. These video footages have been removed as they could look pretty eerie. The animal is trembling with pain. There is no trace of anything that would have caused the abscess, but it could have happened when the elephant walked over a sharp-ended object like tree bark or due to a gunshot. Usually, when the elephants get injured, they somehow survive for about a week and when the wound gets infected, they become weak and collapse. This elephant would have been here like this for days. If not seen by the villagers, he would have possibly died here in a lot of pain. Due to this injury, this beautiful creature has become more helpless in finding food and water as his weakening body will not allow him to linger around and eat what he likes. The elephant is shivering out of severe dehydration and shows a frail pulse rate. This happens when they lack intake of fluid or much of the fluid is lost. Therefore, he is hydrated with water from time to time. Elephants prefer to stay alone when they are no more in the comfort zone of moving tie tie with the other elephants. That too would have been the reason for this elephant to come into the sight of humans. Somehow or the other, it certainly is a wise decision of this intelligent creature to stay close to the village, in the vicinity of human beings, and not vanish into the forest with an injury of this nature. I'm 
The observant and kind villagers looked after this wild elephant by giving it various things to eat until the officers arrived for help. They decided that it is better to move the elephant away from the muddy site. They tied some ropes on elephant's leg and brought him to a shady place under a tree. Then they turned the elephant to the other side to check whether there are any injuries on the other side of the body. In the meantime, a few other vets are making medicine by mixing parts of negasunt powder and povidone iodine. Negasunt powder is an antibacterial wound dressing that is used on maggoted wounds. Povidone iodine is an antiseptic that can be used on wounds to prevent wound infection. An officer applied it on the cleaned wound. Then the wound was externally smeared with a bluish antiseptic spray. Then the antiseptic spray was applied on some other sores in the body as well. This treatment is important to put a stop to any infection that could be building up. The elephant was injected with antibiotic, multivitamins, and anti-inflammatory drugs to build up immunity and to heal the abscess. Wildlife officers offer great support to save the lives of wild animals. They are in the field every day working with limited resources and facilities. They do their utmost to protect the wildlife and the people. The elephant is still in severe condition. The officers brought him to the Elephant Rehabilitation Center for further treatment. He is receiving treatment under experienced veterinarians and he is recovering slowly.